Hey everybody, welcome back to Cars and Zebras. Quick announcement before I start the video. You're gonna notice that the format for this video is gonna be a little different from the previous. It's gonna be a lot shorter, a lot more condensed, and that's because I have a lot of footage sitting around and not all of it is good enough for a feature video but it's not bad enough I want to just delete it. I feel like there's some of you out there that would want to see it, even though it might not be the best quality video, or even just like a single drag race or some time trial races. You know, just things like that. So here's your homework. Watch the video and then let me know what you think. Should I keep putting these out there once in a while, or do we just throw it into the scrap heap? I'm gonna leave this one totally up to you guys, so make sure you leave some comments. Oh, and I forgot to say, I've already got a name picked out for this style of video. And with that said, let me introduce you to the first ever Cars and Zebras Quickie. I mean, Quickie Drag Race. It's Cars and Zebras Quickie Drag Race. Let's check it out. Cars and Zebras Quickie. This is a 1971 Ford Mustang, but it's not just any run-of-the-mill Ford Mustang. This one is a 429 Cobra Jet. And considering that this car is sneaking in before the mandate of unleaded gas, it still had a wonderful compression ratio of 11.3 to 1. And that in combination with those 429 cubic inches of fire-breathing nastiness you got 370 horsepower at 5,400 RPM and 450 pound-feet of torque at 3,400 RPM. As you can see, this car features the three-speed automatic and Outback absolutely annihilating those wide oval tires is a 411 gear. And lastly, this car is weighing in at 3,756 pounds, so not that bad with the power to weight ratio. This one should be a pretty good runner. But enough talk about the 429 Cobra Jet. Let's check out its opponent. I'm sure a lot of you already recognize this car because it was in a previous Cars and Zebras video, but if you didn't see that, Oh, are you in for a treat? Because this is one badass little Camaro. And if those badges didn't already grab your attention, well, I suggest you take a closer look because they say ZL1. And that's because, of course, this is a 1969 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. And, mm, dude, these cars get me excited or what? We're talking 427 cubic inches of aluminum goodness. Aluminum block, heads, intake, Holly 850, forged everything else, and a sky-high compression ratio of 12 to 1. Altogether, highly underrated at 430 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 450 pound-feet of torque at 4400 RPM. This one features the tried and true TH400 3-speed automatic and the rear tires, you know what? I hope they're into S&M because they're gonna get beat up a little bit. All 69 ZL1 cars had 410 gears from the factory and of course, posi traction. Curb weight for these cars was all over the place. Some reports say 3,100, some say 32, 3,300 pounds. This car weighed in at 3,566 pounds. So it definitely has a slight weight advantage over our 429 Cobra Jet Mustang. But you know what? How about we check out that drag race? Thanks for checking out this Cars and Zebras Quickie. I do appreciate you watching, and of course, I'll see you at the next one.